George Trollinger. <clears throat> I installed the metal roof at the Sunset Avenue Church of God in Ashburn, North Carolina. We recovered the gymnasium and the Family Life Center, which was an existing metal building. And uh, due to uh, leaks in the roof, it was time to put on a new roof. So the process was to install the roof hugger system, which elevated the roof height about two and a half inches. And that left the space to where we installed the phase change material directly on the old roof deck and then install the fiberglass uh, insulation over top of that and then install a new standing seam metal roof. The ease of, uh, of this process <coughs> was, was really delightful. Uh, it saved a lot of labor costs. Um, it was much safer to have a working platform to work off of rather than working over open purlins on a metal building. And the um, the uh, phase change material just laid down directly on the on the metal roof. We were uh, able to cut it and uh, to fit. Uh, it was very easy with like a pair of scissors or a knife. And really didn't take any more labor time to install that uh, because it, it uh, came in pieces that fit very well. Overall, uh, we're very happy with the, uh, the new roof here at the church and have not had any problems and we've really seen a uh, significant change in the temperature inside of the, uh, of the building since the new roof. Uh, my name is Jim Spell. I'm a custodian of uh, Sunset Avenue Church of God. Uh, had this job now uh, going on 15 years. Uh, it's really cut back on the uh, time I had to spend over here as far as coming over early, turning on the uh, air conditioner or the heat in the wintertime. Uh, I used to have to come around 3 in the afternoon. Uh, now I can come at 8 or 9 o'clock at night and, and the building will be warm or cold the next day. So we've seen a big, significant saving in my time there. And uh, I can work upstairs without turning the air conditioning on. Or uh, in prior times, I'd have to uh, open the outside door to get the heat out of the building where I could work. But uh, since the new installation, everything seems a lot cooler and uh, uh, everything's working good as long as I, what, I, what I can see. Of. My name is Mike Stoltzfus. I'm one of the pastors at Sunset Avenue Church of God. Uh, specifically, I uh, oversee the administration uh, of the church and the facilities and personnel. And, uh, we recently had a project where uh, we knew we needed to replace a uh, metal roof over our gym and family life center. And uh, we actually had the phase change product installed uh, with the roofing. Uh, and in the, in the first 11 months, uh, we had uh, energy savings between electric and heat, uh, which we use both for um, cooling and for heating. We had savings of uh, almost $4,500 uh, in just those first 11 months. So obviously we were very pleased uh, with this product in a short amount of time. Actually, when we look at the uh, investment with the project, um, specifically with the phase change, um, we'll see a return of investment um, in, a, in just under three and a half years, uh, which is phenomenal when you look at a project like this. Specifically, one of the biggest things that we saw, even if you don't look at the bills, is it would typically take us um, in the area of about 12 to 15 hours a lot of times to cool a building or to heat a building and um, whatever the case may be but we would have to come in early and uh, get the air conditioning going or the heat going and immediately after this product was installed when I mean immediately within the first week um, we cut that time in half we were able to come in eight hours ahead of, of schedule and cut on the air conditioning or the heat and it would be up to temperature at the time that we had people coming into the building. So that was that was a huge deal for us to see immediately because sometimes you don't see results for a while, but we were able to see that within the very first week of, of having the phase change installed uh, with this project. Additionally, uh, we noticed that um, during the winter times before we had the phase change uh, installed on our roof, uh, if you would come into the gym or the Family Life Center, um, it would be very, very cold. And you would feel it immediately if you were gonna do something in there you would have to wear a jacket or a sweater, uh, something like that, because obviously we weren't gonna bring the building to temperature just to be in there a few hours. Uh, and vice versa, in the summer, um, it was just a sweat pit um, in, in both of those areas. And uh, now what we've realized that there seems to be a very constant temperature 
um, really in that, that 80 degree range. Um, in the summer times, it doesn't seem to get much warmer than that. Uh, in the winter, it really doesn't seem to get uh, much cooler than, than really about 60 degrees. Um, so the time it takes to bring the building to temperature has, has, uh, has been huge. Um, and just feeling that somewhat ambient temperature year round has, has been really good for us. It, we've, we've had exciting opportunities where we've had just some, some major increases in, uh, in ministries um, and, and building usage. And of course, it can be a struggle um, in a nonprofit kind of setting such as the church because anytime that you have increased building usage, you'll typically end up in a situation where costs will increase um, simply due to heating and cooling and those sorts of things. So uh, after phase change was installed um, in that area, uh, we actually did have a, a significant increase in the usage of facilities. And, and even with that increased usage, we still saw um, exponential savings in heating and cooling. Um, so it more than, than covered, um, our, our, our building usage went up um, in one month about 50%, and that was still a month that we saw almost a 50% decrease uh, in the cost of, of heating and cooling. So it has more than, than paid for itself.